Scrapbooking.com magazine presents the following Meet the Artist article from the August 2012 issue. Margie Romney Aslett by Judy Kaufman. If you want to know what Margie Romney Aslett did this morning or what she had for lunch, you need only visit her blog. She chronicles her days through a unique mix of photographs and thoughtful writing. She shares her creative projects and process. Margie is, in many ways, the sister you never had, or the person you'd like to visit over scones and tea. She is also committed to her family and friends, to her career and her community, serious when it's necessary. Margie is the sixth of six children, named for her grandmother. Her father was a politician, and her mother made their home beautiful, elaborately decorated for holidays. Margie said that she's always gathered and saved. She made her first scrapbook while in high school, filled with pictures from photo booths. Married at 20, Margie was a mom at 21. Her husband took so many photos of the children that they ran out of wall space. She enrolled in a genealogy class to learn how to archive and preserve the pictures. Margie says, scrapbooking and paper crafting hasn't just been a hobby. It's been a lifestyle. I scrapbook so that people can physically touch the albums and interact with them. I love to look at someone's photos, but even more so, the little bits and pieces that go with the pictures. I collect everything from everywhere I go. Margie was a stay-at-home mom for many years. When they moved from a small town in Idaho to a large city in Arizona, she knew that once she found her local scrapbook store, she would find my people. It was home, school, church, and scrapbook store in that order. After her father had a stroke, Margie moved back to Utah. Making memories offered her a job. She designed products for six years with an amazing mentor, Paula Chen Su. Margie said, My career was being a mother. I only went to college for two years, and I never in a million years thought about having a job. Well, she and her daughters started a kit club called The Girls Loft. They gathered products for monthly packages. One thing led to another, and Advantis contacted Margie, and through their friendship with Tim Holtz, she was hired to design The Girls' papery line. I went from consumer to retail, to educator to product designer, she said. I knew that I loved scrapbooking and that I was any manufacturer's dream consumer. I felt confident in the fact that being an avid scrapbooker would help me design products that others would want. I've always had lots of ideas. Margie explained, In 2009, I got together for lunch with two girlfriends, Elizabeth Karcher and Rona Ferrer, and we got to talking about how to bring local women together for a creative gathering. We came up with the name Spark, as in, if I give you a spark, you'll create your own fire. Spark was a labor of love. We had no money. We made the decorations from newspaper and things pulled from the garage. Spent about $200 total. Well, now Spark 4 is scheduled for early summer 2013. There's an artisan market, classes, amazing food. And the decorations are as much the event as anything. We decorate all the way to the sky. The sky's the limit would be an apt description for Margie's life. Margie heads to the Basel offices in Arizona once or twice a month and works from her studio in her house the rest of the time. Margie says, I have the best job ever with the best people ever. We hope you enjoyed this article from Scrapbooking.com magazine. For more creative inspiration, be sure to check out all of the great articles and projects in this month's issue.